intriguing. What remains there to be said? Do you presume us allies even now? Though Mikola's spell is newly broken, I must profess. The spell mattered little. Uphold his covenant, Mikola shall. And in godhood redeem our rueful clan. Then Marika and vilest Erdtree both will at last be from divinity wrenched. And surely, I... contented, I will be. But first, clear resounds the call of vengeance. The Impaler, Mesmer, must pay his due. In vengeance for the flames, my blade I wield. How could I allow myself to forget? Revenge alone assures me peace of mind. Think not to hinder me upon my path, lest you too wish to face the reckoning. Oh, hello. Did you feel it? Mikula the Kind's enchantment appears to have broken. But while my devotion to kindly Mikula remains unchanged, by my trust I am not so sure about the others. No, wait. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. I can wield my sword to cull the undeserving, those unfit to bask in tender Mikula's presence. I should have thought of this earlier. Right. It's time to begin ferreting out. Those of us who don't deserve to be at kindly Mikula's side. Tiollier. Hmm. It's true. His devotion to St. Trina is plain to see. I fear his vows to Mikula the Kind are merely secondary. But for this very reason, Tiollier is incapable of betrayal. St. Trina's love for kind Mikula is boundless. She is. After all, his other half. Or perhaps her feelings go beyond even that. Even if she was left behind. I doubt her heart would waver. Right. It's time to begin ferreting out. Those of us who don't deserve to be at kindly Mikula's side. The Hornsent. Hmm. On one hand, he trusts Mikula the Kind to bring salvation to his people. With the enchantment lifted, his vengeful passions may once again ignite. But surely he'd be mindful of kindly Mikula's promise. On the other hand, the Hornsent does present his own dangers. Perhaps your concerns are well-founded after all. Allow me some time to mull it over. There you are. It took me long enough, I know. But I've made my decision. I believe it wisest to eliminate the horn scent. If he were to point his blade at Sir Mesmer or Queen Marika, perhaps it would not matter. But vengeance changes a man. And one day, his blade may turn towards Mikula the Kind. Kindly Mikula is, after all, the true golden child. Even if he discards every last drop of his being, his lineage will always remain. I believe the Hornsent suspects what I have in mind. He never placed his full trust in me, even under the effect of kindly Mikula's spell. He must have recognized something. The scent of the killer that slept within me, the stench of crusted blood. I will follow the horn scent. To have his revenge on Sir Mesmer, there is only one place he will go. The Black Keep. Oh. 
Um, are you not affected? Even with the spell broken, I'm feeling rather lost. Haunted by memories of St. Trina. Her visage. Her sen. The lure of velvety sleep. Would kindly Mikola chasten me for falling for St. Trina? While knowing that she was the discarded half. The problem is, I simply cannot help it. I would sacrifice everything just to gaze upon her one last time. Then I wish to tell you. I'm heading south. I've recalled something that Sir Moore said. He discovered deep purple water lilies blooming on the southern shore. That must be where St. Trina was left to wither away. There you are. Good. If you happen to see Lady Leda, tell her that I'm striking out on my own. Don't worry. I've no mind to cross any of you. The guidance of kind Mikola remains etched into my very flesh. It's only... There's something that I must know. Kindly Mikola spoke of the vow he once made with General Radan, and... It is here the vow shall be honored. I am a red main. I must know the nature of the vow. I'll be out on my own for some time. There's something I must know. There is no need for concern. I will be true to my word. Though I do feel a hint of regret, Lady Leda and Honorable Ansbach are of a special breed. How glorious it would have been had we met in battle as sworn enemies. Nicola has discarded his great room. The fog that vexed my aging faculties has been lifted, and follies better left forgotten haunt me once again. <sighs> once, in an attempt to free Lord Moog from his enchantment, I challenged tender Nicola, only to have my own heart rather artfully stolen. I knew not how weak I was. I believe that with sufficient mastery, even an Empyrean would be within reach of my blade. I could not have been more mistaken. Mikola the Kind is a monster, pure and radiant. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Righteous tarnished, Mikola the Kind makes my blood run cold. I am loath to admit it. But even at this very instant, I wish to run very far away indeed. I don't feel it. It's broken. Kind Mikola's light is gone. But I stand tall. Together, we work. Together, for Mikola the Kind. I don't know what to do. Our mother abandoned her brood she did not love us we are her children what should we do must we be sad forever <clears throat> i don't know 
I thought 